Hi there, it's Dr. David Brown with another Alice tutorial. In this tutorial I want to look at testing of functions, uh, more precisely unit testing. So let's get straight to it. Now I'll just quickly replay what I've uh, developed in an earlier tutorial. So here we've got a dice poker game uh, where we randomly randomly generate three dice rolls and then do some checks as to what sort of result we, we may have. So in this case we see no results. Eventually I'll come up with something something good here. And there we have it. In this case we've got a full house. Right, so let's get stuck into it. Now as part of this development I've got a series of functions uh, that I've developed under the world object which test our combination of dice rolls. So the dice rolls are stored in a dice array and we had things like functions for testing three of a kind, four of a kind and so forth. Now the point is, is that some of these functions start getting fairly complicated. So to ensure that they're actually doing what they're meant to be doing we really need to do some testing. So how do we do some testing in Alice? Well first thing I want to do is create a new method and I'll call it unit tests. So unit test will test an individual each test will test an individual function. So the next thing I want to do is create a test array containing some test data. And here I'm going to put in five dice rolls. So first test I want to do is to test a straight. Okay, so that's four numbers uh, in consecutive order. So that's my first test array. And I'll do an if statement. So we look at, let's put it in a comment first. Uh, so test one. So the expected result for this is true. Okay. Now let's, let's just put a little bit more comment in there. So we're testing the is straight function. Alrighty. So we go back to our functions here. And what we're going to show is that we expect this one, and when we call is straight, to return true. So drag this over here and this one will be our test array one. Now, if it does return true, if we get into the F branch, we're going to print out test one passed. Otherwise, let's just copy that over. We'll print out test one failed. Okay, and to run our test we'll just run the unit unit tests method and play, and in this case we've got test one passed. Alright, so we can go through and test various functions now. So let's put in test two. So this is testing the we'll do the is full house function. And let's just put what our expected result is. Uh, oops. So expected result is false. All right. Let's copy this over. Uh, maybe not. So I'll put an if statement in. So if true. So now we want to do is full house. And again, we're testing on test array one. And if that's if that's false, then the test pass passes. So let's just change that to test two and copy that. Uh, let's put that on over there. And similarly, if this is true, then our test has failed. So again, we play that. And we see we've got test one and test two both pass right now. So whenever we make changes to our code, whenever we make changes to those functions, we can rerun all of these tests to make sure that we haven't broken the code. 
And obviously as we go through we develop more and more tests and what we do in fact is develop more test inputs so in this case we'd go test array 2 uh, whoops, I want to actually initialize that so this one we might initialize with something we'd expect to be a full house okay and then we'd put in a third test case testing the is full house function and in this case our expected result oops, is true and again let's see if we can do that drag that over, no for some reason that's not going to work for me so again we go through this stage and in this case we want test array 2 and let's copy that so if it's true then it passes and if it's false it's failed so let's just edit that to change that to test 3 and change that one test 3 failed press return let's play that so we've got all three tests passing now this is just a small sample of test cases that we might have obviously we would have a lot more test cases uh, we were looking at having good test coverage for all of our functions so including both functions that pass and fail but this gives you an idea of the process you'd use to, to do the test unit testing in Alice. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, testing is very important. It's one, one way that we can actually get some assurance that our code is behaving correctly. So I certainly encourage you to do it. Okay, hopefully that's been useful. I'll sign off now. Okay, see you next time.